I will explain the difference between Sudoku W wings and WXYZ wings. Watch until the end. I'll give you a couple of examples to test what you have learned. Greetings, friend. This is a follow-up to my previous video on WXYZ wings. Uh, what I wanted to do with this video in part two is kind of show a difference between what a W wing is and what a WXYZ wing is. My goal here is not to necessarily explain what a W wing is or an XYZ wing uh, definition wise. I made tutorials for each of those. What I wanted to do though is just kind of show how you quickly spot a W wing versus quickly spot a WXYZ wing. The names are very similar and so it's easy to get them confused. I used to get them confused myself. So my first example, this is from the recommended W wing practice video that Bonnie sent me. Uh, and I'll put the link right here for you to check that one out. But about 7 minutes, 42 seconds into it, I spotted my first W wing. And so where the W wing is, is there's a 3-5 right here and a 3-5 right there. And for a W wing, you got to keep in mind that the end cell and the beginning cell, they're going to be the same by value cell. So 3 and a 5, 3 and a 5. Also, there's got to be some kind of strong link for them, for the A, B, and C uh, variants. Now, this is actually a delta variant W wing. And the reason why it's a W wing is because you still have the same by value cells. But the way you make the elimination is a little different. You're actually not going to go look for uh, one of these candidates having a strong link between the two. Instead, you're going to look across the uh, shoot or the band here. So you see there's a 3-5 here in block 9. Uh, row 9, uh, column 9. And then there's a 3-5 here in row 7 and block 8. So they're in two different blocks, two different rows. That's good. So what you'll do is come across over here to block 7 and notice that only a 3 can be here in that middle row, row 8 in block 7. And so what we can figure out is that if you had a 5 in this cell and a 5 in this cell, well, if then you'd eliminate all the other fives in row seven and row nine in block seven, and there'd be no place to put a five here. So that's impossible. So what you know is that one of these has to be a three, and that's a W wing. And so what you do is you'd be able to eliminate any three, uh, any cells that contain a three that can see both of these cells. So in this case, uh, all three of those cells already have uh, numbers in them. So you look down here and you see there's a three right there. We can eliminate that. The point I'm making here is that for a W wing, the end and beginning cell are both going to be the same by value cell. And you'll never have that in a WXYZ wing. Here's my next example. So this is from the same puzzle, but it's a little bit later on in the video. This is about the 18 minute and 45 second point. And what I found was another W wing. And so I'll highlight the candidates right here. So there's a 1, one 7 and 1, 7. So like I said in the previous example, uh, same ends, uh, begins and ends the same by value cell. Now, this particular example, uh, we're going to be looking for one of these candidates, either the one or seven, uh, is can see these two and it has a connection that's a strong link. So, what you'll notice is if you go up here to the top of block four, you'll see uh, there's a one right here. And you'll notice that this one has a strong link with this one. If you don't understand what I mean by strong links, uh, you can check out my W wing video or WXYZ wing. I'll get more into this. But the basic gist is that strong link means that you're going to have two in that row, column, or block. And if one of this is, you know, if this one's false, that one has to be true. Uh, that's what a strong link means. So what you see here is that a strong link also appears within a by value cell. So in this case, what you know is that a 7 uh, has a strong link to this one, and this one has a weak link to this one. And then this one, uh, it's actually a surrogate weak link. This one has a strong link to that one, and then this one has a weak link to this one, and this one has a strong link to this 7. So we start with a strong link, end with a strong link. So then we know any cell that sees both of these two cells, we can eliminate a 7. So you eliminate a 7 right here, and I... And then this is going to be a five. You can move on with the cell. So this particular, what I wanted to point out here is in most variants of a W wing, you're going to have uh, a strong link between. 
So you, you have four cells total, um, but one of them, again, uh, you know, one of the digits in the bivalent cells is going to have a strong link that's going to connect the beginning and end cell. Uh, something else you want to keep in mind here is that double links can come in a lot of different variants. So we saw the D variant, which is very un unusual. This one, I believe, is called a Bravo because the uh, link to the to the one it's within the same block, and then it goes over to a new block and comes down to this one seven. Uh, sometimes, you know, this one, it could, uh, it could be within this block and then, uh, and then if like, this one seven was over here and, uh, you know, like the one was here and then this other one was down there and then our one seven was right there, uh, then the connecting cells would be within the same block, uh, as the beginning and end cells. And that'd be like an alpha variant. And then there's a third variant, which is the hardest one to see, um, I believe that's a Charlie, where you start in one house, you're, you know, this one would be like way over in another block, so it might be up here, and then this one goes up here in a different block and then come down. That would be the hardest one to see, that's like a uh, Charlie variant, because neither one of those would be in the same block as a starter or end cell. Uh, but all those are still continued, uh, they're still considered W-wings, and they all, you know, use the same logic. So let's move on to our next example. All right, so this is going to be my first example of a W-X-Y-Z wing. Uh, again, not going to get too much into the definition, and if you're not familiar with W-X-Y-Z, I do recommend you check out my tutorial part one. Uh, give you a great explanation about how, what they are and how to find them. All right, so in my video called uh, Timberlake, about six minutes and 40 seconds into it, is I find the first WXYZ wing. So I want to show it to you here. Uh, so just like a W wing, a WXYZ wing does have four cells. Uh, but there's some other differences. I mean, uh, basically the four cells is about the only thing they have in common. All right, so WXYZ wing, we have what I call the parent cell. So this is the one that's kind of like the pivot, and you'll see all the other cells in the WXYZ wing. We have the spouse cell, which is going to be right there. Uh, it shares one candidate in common with only the uh, parent cell, and usually it's in the same block as the spouse, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and then we're going to have our two, what do you call the uh, children cells. So four cells, two, three, four, nine, so four candidates. So WXYZ wing, uh, one of its requirements is it has to be four candidates, uh, four different candidates. And each cell can have up to those four candidates. And the other thing you'll notice is that three in a WXYZ wing, three of the four cells will share uh, a house. So they'll be in the same row or column or block. Uh, and then there'll be one, you know, that'll be outside and it'll just share with, with one other candidate or with one other cell. Uh, so that's another difference. So a W wing, what you'll notice is that, that the connecting, uh, the connecting cells and, and all the cells in a W wing, they'll only have two, you know, there'll only be two that'll have a, a cell uh, they'll have a house in common, you know, row, column, or block. Uh, where WXYZ wing, you're going to have three out of the four. So that's a big difference between the two. Okay, and then how this works is you can validate this by, you know, putting in all the candidates right here for the uh, parent cell. So if you put in a two, this would be a nine. If you put in a three, then you'd have a four, nine naked pair up here. And if you put in a four, then you have a three nine naked pair. And either way, since this is a naked pair of nines, this can't be a nine. And with the, if this was a nine, then that can't be a nine. So you can, in all cases, you can eliminate a nine right there. So that's what a WXYZ wing looks like. And I wanted to kind of show the difference. The main one being that three of the three of the cells are going to share the same house. All right. So that's my first example. Um, then I want to show you that in this puzzle right here, there's actually another W. X, Y, Z wing. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, this is the way Bonnie did it. And I said in the video of Timberlake that I'd show the other 
WXYZ, but I don't think I actually showed it. So I'm going to show it to you now. If you can spot it, the positive video, outstanding. I had a real hard time seeing it because it's kind of a unique WXYZ wing. Okay, for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, here we go. So the parent is right here. The spouse cell is right here. And then the two children cells are right there. Okay, why is this unusual? Because almost always you'll see the spouse cell in the same block as the parent. But it doesn't have to be. The only thing that has to be is that these two see each other, and this one can't see both of the children. Otherwise, you'd be in like a row and just be a naked quad. And then uh, they have to, you know, they share one candidate in common that they don't share with these two. So the threes are in common. So that works out. This is actually a good spouse cell. And then the uh, children cell, you know, both of them will see each other, and they also will see the uh, parent cell. And they happen to have the sixes in common with each other. And then, of course, they have the nines in common uh, with both of the cells. And you can still validate this. You put a three right here, this would be a nine. You put a four right here, then you'd have a six, nine naked pair. And if you put a nine right here, obviously that would be a nine. And in all four cases, with the naked pair, a nine here or here, you could still eliminate the nine right there. Uh, so what you'll notice here is that, again, uh, four cells, but you got four different candidates, and at least three of them, like right here, are all sharing the same house. All right, how are you doing so far? Hopefully you can tell the difference between a W wing and a WXYZ wing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to Smart Hobbies to get more content like this. And let's now move on and do a little test and see how much you've learned. Okay, so for our first test example, I'm going to give you the four cells. And you tell me it's a W wing or WXYZ wing. Here are the four cells. And I'll just keep them all the same color so that I don't uh, give it away. I'll give you a few seconds to kind of figure it out. Okay. For those of you who figured out which one this is, congratulations. You've been paying attention. Great job. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, this is a W wing. Okay, so I took this puzzle from my uh, video on W wings. That it was a puzzle created by Jovial, and I'll put the link right here so you can check this one out. Great puzzle, very fun. So this is a W wing, a little bit different than the ones we saw in our previous examples. Uh, this is what I call like that. I think it's the Charlie variant. So you start here. You have a one two right here as our beginning cell, and you have a one two right there as our end cell. So the same bi value cells. You have four. Uh, cells, yep, just like the WXYZ wing, but you'll notice none of them share more than, you know, uh, no more than two cells share any one house. So there's, you know, these two cells share this column, these two share the row, and these two share uh, the column. Uh, and then what you'll notice is that uh, the ones is the connecting, and there's a strong link between these ones. So this two has a strong link to this one, a weak link to that one, a strong link to that one, a weak link to this one, and a strong link to this two. So we start and end with strong links on the twos. So that means any cells that see both this cell and this cell, we can eliminate the two. So you can eliminate the two here, and you can eliminate the two down here. And once you do that, you're going to be able to solve the rest of the puzzle. Uh, so that was a W wing. Good job if you figure that one out. And for our second and final uh, test example, uh, I'm pulling this diagram. This is from the Simon versus UK Telegraph video I did on 21st September uh, 2018 um, of him solving the puzzle from the Telegraph from that day. In about 7 minutes and 25 seconds of video, I kind of point out this position. I'm going to list and mark the four cells, and you tell me if it's a W wing or WXYZ wing. Okay. Pause the video. Well, I'll give you a few seconds to figure this out. All right. For those of you who figured this out, outstanding. You are sharp, and you definitely know the difference between a W wing and WXYZ wing. For those of you who just want to enjoy the show, this is a WXYZ wing. Um, and what you'll notice is, yes, we have four cells, but you'll see right off the bat that it has uh, four candidates, and three of the four candidates share the same 
uh, house. I share the same column five. And this is WXYZ wing. And of course, we can um, validate by you know, using this would actually be your uh, parent cell. Oh, excuse me. This is actually the parent right there. And then you have your children and then your uh, spouse cell. And what's unique about this one, and I pointed out in the video, is that these two cells are, are the same and that one of the children cells actually shares the block with the spouse, but that's okay uh, because since they're within the block, um, the eliminations will still work out right. If you put in a two right here, this would be a one. You put in a three right here, then you got a two, six, one, two, one, six, which is an X, Y wing. Um, and if you put in a six right here, this would be a one. And in all those cases, uh, you have a one either here or here, and this can never be a one. And you may eliminate that. I hope you learned something new and cool about W wings versus WXYZ wings and can always tell the difference between them. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything neat that you thought that you learned from this video. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, please check out some of these other videos from my channel. Thank you so much for watching.